Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange casts a forbidden spell that opens the doorway to the multiverse, including an alternate, alternate versions of himself that threatens humanity, is too great for combined forces of Strange, Wong, and Wanda Maximoff. So, I really like this movie. I was a little disappointed by something that happens in the movie, but... I am going to make a, I'm going to try and make a video right after this, talking about that. Um, but, I think being, like, being a big fan of the original Spider-Man trilogy, that pretty much did a great job at, um, starting the comic book genre. Both of the Spider-Man films and the X-Men films. The, the Hugh Jackman, Harry Berry, uh, X-Men trilogy, and the Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, Spider-Man trilogy. They set the groundwork for this. So being a huge fan of, especially uh, the Spider-Man films, even though I do love the X-Men films, but Spider-Man being that little close to my because I grew, grew up on that first Toby one, and being a big Sam Raimi fan because of those Spider-Man movies, and check out my video that I just posted as of this recording, like earlier on in the day, where I show mum my, the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Yeah, a lot of fun doing that. Hoping to do more of those and posting a lot more of those Spider-Man reactions. So, but apparently in this movie there's a lot of Evil Dead references. Which as of this recording, I haven't seen Evil Dead. So I am going to check that out right, like not right after recording this. But definitely this week I'm going to check them out. Because I have them all there. I have Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. So I'm super excited to check those out now. I also like Danny Elfman's music. Like, I'm a big fan of... His Batman score for the A9 uh, movie and Batman Returns. And the Spider-Man thing. Those those two scores in particular, I'm a huge fan of. And I think that Kevin Feige walked in uh to the room that Dan Danny Elfman was working was like, hey look, Elfman, you could do whatever you want with this, but you need to have, but you, you can do this, this, and this, but you need to have the One Division theme, at least an instrumental version, and the original classic X-Men theme, the, uh, you need to have that in there somewhere. But other than that, you could do whatever you want. But I think this movie is so much better than the first Doctor Strange movie. And if you guys want, I will do a review of all the Marvel movies. I am currently in the workings of my DCU films. I did do Man of Steel a few weeks ago. I am working, I am going to record about MV Superman 1. And go work through those. Then after that, I can do going to do the X-Men movies and the MCU movies. So I will do an in-depth review, review of the first one. But I think this one died up the craziness even more than me. Uh, even more for me, sorry. And um, it wasn't slow. It was very quick. It jumps you right and doesn't stop the energy. Like, that is one of the biggest flaws for this film, but that flaw doesn't really bother me as much as this other flaw. Well, I guess it's not a flaw. It's a problem that I have with the movie. Um, but, in this movie, whoever criticised Spider-Man No Way Home for its setup for the whole thing appear, going and see Doctor Strange, and why would Doctor Strange do this? This movie makes that better. And even watch, um, Sean, Chan Sean Chandler's review, he break breaks that down and why he thinks that this movie improves on No Way Home. But, also, I like the characters in this film, like, surprisingly, I like Doctor Strange, um, because I tend to like him in the bigger movies, like Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man No Way Home, but for the first time, I actually liked him in a solo movie. But also, I didn't really help that you also had, like, other characters that I like, and grew to like throughout both times I saw it. I've seen this movie twice now, um, but... Also, but like, it doesn't help that you have Wong in there. I really liked Wong. That's another character that grew on me since Infinity War, Endgame, and No Way Home. Um, also, Wanda. I always loved Wanda. Uh, she was great in Infinity War, great um, in Civil War, great in Infinity War, Endgame, WandaVision, everything that she's done. Elizabeth Olsen is, should get the best um, 
supporting actress reward, award Oscar for Multiverse of Madness because she's great. America Chavez, another really, really great new character that I really, really liked in this movie. And I think that because you have all these things, I will do a separate video talking about this one specific scene and the problem I have with it and the title uh, of Multiverse of Madness. But I think that this movie I would have to give Doctor Strange three and a half stars. Which I would give the first one probably about one and a half or even half a star or one. This one is so much better than the first one. But it's not behind or in front of Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man No Way Home from me. Those are the two, oh my god, I can watch these all the time movies. Like, I do watch the other movies every now and then. But those are the two that I'm like, I need to watch this again because these are incredible movies. But yeah, guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also hit the little bell icon and notify future videos I make. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.